Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be going over the shulker box loader. The shulker box loader is an extremely important redstone circuit that allows you to load shulker boxes without actually interacting with them as a player. And it's mostly used on mega farms that produce tons of items every hour, and you don't want to have to build up a giant sorting system to deal with that. Instead, you can just build this simple circuit right here to just put stuff into shulker boxes for you, and then that could go into bulk storage, and then you don't have to worry about having multiple different chests, up to like hundreds of chests to store all these items that are created by these farms. Instead, you can just have this small circuit. It does this by taking items in from the top here that are then put into this shulker box. And once this shulker box is full, the comparator here outputs a signal strength of 15. And this signal strength goes into this block, and now this block has a signal strength of 15. And this redstone here on top of the block normally has a redstone strength of 14 because it's 15 on top of the redstone block and 14 here. But when the comparator updates this block to 15, this redstone also updates to a strength of 15, which causes a state change. And this state change is detected by the observer. This observer then sends a signal into the hopper behind it, which locks the hopper for a brief second, causing a output from this observer here, which powers the piston, to push this observer over, breaking the shulker box and putting it into this hopper while simultaneously powering this dropper here and dispenser here, which is an important distinction because the dropper passes items to the dispenser and the dispenser actually puts the shulker box out. So it pushes out, powers the dropper to put a shulker box in the dispenser and then pulls the observer back when the hopper unlocks, causing the dispenser to be powered and a shulker box to be outputted right here once again. The downfall of this circuit here is that you can't actually access the shulker box in the middle here, you just have to know that it's working. There are other shulker box loaders that do allow you to look inside the shulker box to see how many items are in there at the current moment or to take out all the items you want to, but this one is better for bulk storage because it's a single block wide, as you can see here, it's just one block wide, and it's infinitely tileable, which I show over here. You can put as many of them next to each other as you want. And now just a little bit on how to work this shulker box loader. So the items come in here from your farm or however else you're putting items into the shulker box, and I recommend doing all of the same type of item, otherwise the shulker box might not get completely filled and it won't properly output the shulker box. Because if the shulker box never gets completely full, the comparator will never put out a signal strength of 15, causing this entire circuit to break. This barrel over here represents where the empty shulker boxes are going in. So as you can see, I have this barrel just completely full of shulker boxes, and then they're down in this hopper, and this hopper, and then the dropper here. And the dispenser actually doesn't have any right now, because the first one gets put in from this dropper the first time it actually cycles. This barrel down here represents where the full shulker boxes come out, and... It doesn't have to just be a barrel, it can be anything you want. It could be a hopper line into a storage system or anything like that, but I just represent it here with a barrel. And now building the shulker box loader. This can get a little complicated, so I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible by doing it in the simplest way possible. And we're going to start out by putting a barrel right here. It doesn't have to be a barrel, it can be a hopper or anything you want because this is the output barrel right here. And from this barrel, you want to put a block on top and a redstone block coming out the end. Then, on top of the redstone block, you want to put a redstone dust and a redstone dust on top of the block above the barrel. Then, from that barrel on the back side, you want to put one hopper. And on top of the hopper, you want to put a redstone comparator. Then, right behind the hopper, you want to put a dispenser. It's really important that this is a dispenser, otherwise it won't work properly, because a dropper just throws things on the ground. A dispenser actually uses the use of that item, and in a shulker box's case, that is placing the shulker box down. The next thing you want to place is a dropper facing into the dispenser. This dropper pushes the items inside of it into this dispenser. That's just a special feature with droppers specifically that they push items into a dispenser or another dropper right in front of them instead of just throwing them on the ground. Then coming off this back dropper you want to put one hopper and a second hopper so you have two in a form like this. Next 
you want to put a barrel on top of the back hopper and a piston in front of that barrel coming toward the comparator. Next, you want to put an observer on the piston, but you want the observer facing upward so it's going to output the signal downward. After the observer, you want to place a temporary block on top of the dispenser and place an observer coming off of this redstone right here. So you want it to be observing the redstone and outputting a signal to the back of the shulker box loader. Then put a hopper going into the temporary block. And coming off of that hopper, you want to put another observer. And just like that, the entire shulker box loader is done. The last thing I guess that you have to do is break this temporary block and put in a shulker box right there. And now it's actually done and loaded. Depending on how many shulker boxes you want to put in there, you want to put more in this back barrel just like this. And obviously you can't just drag click like that in survival, but you can just put in as many shulker boxes as you want. It doesn't matter what color they are or anything. And now it's completely ready to go. And now I'll show you this properly functioning. And I'm going to do that a little bit differently. So if you want to, you can break that shulker box at any time. It doesn't really matter. And then you can put a block behind it and place the shulker box like this. And now you can open it. So you can fill up that shulker box completely. And then just like that, it replaces it. And now the full one is in the barrel down here. There is one last thing that I want to go over in this episode about shulker box loaders. And that is combining them with item sorters. And you can combine any shulker box loader with an item sorter just like this by adding in a hopper right below the item sorter and a chest right below that hopper. Or this could be another hopper or anything. I just like to use a chest because then it allows you to store a whole other shulker box of stuff after this shulker box loader runs out of shulker boxes. But it doesn't matter what you put there, it can be anything. And if you want to learn how to make these item sorters or how to use them, you can go check out my channel and I actually have a video on how to make those there. I'll also be putting that video at the end of this video or I'll also put it down in the description if you want to check it out. On that note, I hope you learned a little bit about shulker box loaders and how to use them and make them. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next redstone tutorial.